Hello, welcome to Liverpool FC News Today channel. John W. Henry issued a grovelling video apology early on Wednesday morning after Liverpool withdrew from the European Super League but does he regret upsetting people or the actual project? Liverpool owner John W. Henry apologised for the disruption but not for the act. Like a noisy neighbour who says, sorry for the loud music but not for actually playing it at 3am. The principal owner of the club regrets he upset the fans his manager Jurgen Klopp and the players. But he showed little remorse for the grotesque and greedy move which threatened to ruin European football. Only sorry because they didn't get a storm they could weather. Instead, they received a tsunami of hate which was set to drown them so they waved the white flag. An apology to save face but not fit enough to make up for the last 48 hours, and however long. He and the other owners of 12 greedy clubs plotted this heist of the game under the cover of the European Super League. There was no mention of their ignorance towards the European Cup, the competition the Reds have proudly won six times. Henry didn't say sorry for trying to make those cups nothing more than trinkets in the club's museum. There was no show of sorrow for how the Premier League a trophy Liverpool finally got their hands on last summer, would have been devalued if they went ahead with their plans. There was no show of repent which meant the football team played a game on Monday night not knowing if the result really even mattered. No show of ruefulness for not speaking with all staff and supporters before boldly laying out plans to join a Super League late on a Sunday night while many slept. It was just a sign of repent for the anger it has caused afterwards. This apology was for being caught, not for the crime. Henry, the founder of Fenway Sports Group, said the last two days caused disruption. Americans are not known for playing down emotions. Disruption was certainly a mild way of describing the anger among Liverpool supporters and other fans all over Europe in the last 48 hours or so. There was, at least, some sincerity in taking sole responsibility. I'm sorry, and I alone am responsible for the unnecessary negativity brought forward over the past couple of days, he said. Henry says he won't forget it and realizes the power of the supporters now. Yet he has bowed to fan pressure before. Most notably when supporters walked out of Anfield in 2016 in protest of rising ticket prices. FSG didn't seem to learn their lesson then. Liverpool fans are not the sort to roll over and have their bellies tickled now just because FSG have helped bring some glory back to the club. Henry will hope the apology will stave off a revolt from supporters against the club's owners. But actions will speak louder than words. And FSG's actions now will be more scrutinized than ever.